Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for stopping by and checking out this video. I'm assuming you clicked on this video because the title tells you that we're gonna be doing some deep cleaning today in my whole house. So, with that being said, yes, we are. We're gonna be doing some regular, just basic pickup cleanup that needs to be done every single day. We're also gonna be tackling some deep cleaning items on my to-do list like scrubbing doors, scrubbing cabinets, those kinds of things that don't get done on a weekly or monthly basis. It's kind of like, you know, something that gets put off quite a bit. So that's what we're gonna do today. I don't have an exact list of what I wanna get done, which is kind of unlike me because I usually, usually always have a to-do list. Um, but I just wanna get as much done as I can. There's things that I have up here in my brain that I've been wanting to get done for a while, so I'm just going to try to get as much done as I can in the next couple of hours while I have some time to clean. So that is what you can look forward to in this video. I also wanted to mention that I am partnering with Scentbird on today's video. So thank you to Scentbird for sponsoring today's video. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about them. So before we get started cleaning today, I'm gonna to tell you a little bit about Scentbird. I got three scents in the mail. If you have never heard of Scentbird before, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about them, but I got these three scents in the mail. Um, I got Gucci Bloom, and on the back of these, it has like all the info on the scents. And then I also got this Rachel Zoe Instinct, and I also got this Pamela Roland one. And I honestly can't decide which one is my favorite. They all smell so good. I've been using them like switching it up each day. Um, but Scentbird sends you different scents. So then you can kind of like test drive different perfumes because usually, you know, you get those little magazines in the mail and they have like those um, scent cards, but you can't really like wear it and test it out. Like fragrances smell different on everybody. Um, and so Scentbird just gives you such a good amount. Like look at the size of this, right? So you twist it up and it's like an actual perfume that you can spray on. Oh, that one smells so good. That's the Gucci Bloom. I think that might be my favorite one. I don't know, it's hard because they all smell so good. Come in these little pouches and then these are such good size with like a good amount of fragrance in there. But they just twist up like so and then have the little um, sprayer on there like an actual bottle of perfume but this gives you the chance to try these out and then you can decide if you want to buy like a full bottle of one of these um, whichever one you fall in love with or move on to your next month and um, try out some different scents so I love that I've always been interested in trying out Scentbird so I'm super excited to be working with them because now I get the hype. Another thing is like as the seasons change, you might want a different sort of scent, like a warmer type scent for winter and fall and then more like floral or something for like summer and spring, you know? So it's a fragrance subscription. You can shop from over 600 different brands of perfume. It is a super flexible subscription so you can skip a month anytime you want to with no penalties. With each fragrance, you get a 30 day supply and um, you can change your subscription to get like multiple scents too. Scentbird carries all of the top brands like Prada, Gucci, Versace, and they work directly with the brand so it's 100% authentic perfume. You can discover new scents with Scentbird by taking a quiz online, answering some questions, and then like previous purchases and stuff like that. They'll help you find the perfect scent for you. With Scentbird, you can get a decent size amount of designer perfume for only 16 bucks, um, but with my code, you can get get your first one for only $11. So like I said, you guys can use my coupon code that I have linked in the description box to get 30% off. So it's just $11 for your first month and super exciting news come September, which by the time you guys are seeing this video, it is September. Scentbird is expanding to Canada. So if you're in Canada, you can take part in this super awesome deal as well. So definitely be sure to check out Scentbird. Like I said, 30% off in the description box. But with all that being said, we need to get to cleaning. So enough chit chat, let's go. All right guys, like I said, we're gonna get a whole bunch of stuff done in this video and I am starting out here in my dining room. I've got a basket of clean laundry that needs to be folded. So I'm gonna get that folded and I was on the phone with my sister right here and then later on in this video, you're gonna see me on my phone a lot because I ordered a photo book of my sister's maternity photos that I took. I ordered a photo book for her and my brother-in-law as a gift, like a surprise. It was supposed to be delivered. I ordered it from Walgreens and it never showed up 
and they said they shipped it. It was I was on the phone with FedEx, I was on the phone with Walgreens trying to figure out what happened to it. No solution has been found, but just in case you're wondering why I'm on the phone so much, I was on hold a lot trying to figure everything out. But right here while I was folding clothes, I was talking to my sister about this lost package and just all sorts of stuff, just catching up. But clean clothes are folded and I'm gonna get some of those put away. All right, first thing on my to-do list of things that don't get done very often is wiping down our dining room chairs. I love these chairs because we have three kids, they're very durable and you can't really see anything on them, um, but they needed to be cleaned really badly. There's like this little crease in the back where crumbs and stuff get stuck and I had to go in with my Rubbermaid little spin brush thing and really scrub that out, but it did work really well, so I'm happy about that. But I'm just using my Mrs. Meyers apple cider scent to clean off these chairs, and let me tell you, when you start pulling out the um, fall scents from Mrs. Meyers, I don't know what it is, but it just, it gets you in the mood for fall. I got them from Grove Collaborative, which I have linked for you guys. I also got the acorn spice one, which later in this video I'm gonna be cleaning some stuff in the boys' bedroom and I use the acorn spice in there and it just smells so amazing. But anyways, I got all these chairs wiped down. They look so much better. They are really easy to clean. It's just one of those things I don't do very often. For a little moment, just hold me closer. I'll be okay till the sun goes up, yeah. For a little moment, just hold me closer. Once the chairs are all wiped down, I am just gonna wipe down my dining room table. This is something I do on the daily, but like I said in the beginning of this video, we're gonna be doing some things that don't get done very often, some things that get overlooked, and then also some just regular day-to-day -day cleaning, like wiping down the dining room table. All right, now I'm headed into the laundry room. I'm gonna fill up this big bowl with some hot water in this yellow Fabuloso cleaner and I am gonna be wiping down the doors. So we have dark wood doors. They were this color when we moved in, when we bought our house almost two years ago. I do not know the color of them. That's a question I get all the time, um, but they're beautiful. I love them so much. But as you can see, fingerprints, smudges, all sorts of stuff shows on there. And then also our door frames are looking pretty dingy as well as um, some spots on our baseboards. So I'm just gonna take a cleaning rag and that Fabuloso and get to work on scrubbing things down. I do absolutely love having these dark doors, but they do get very dusty. Um, and then you can see those like smudgy fingerprints on them. So this is something that I probably should do more often, but it hasn't been done in a while. So we are doing that today. And you'll see I don't have any gloves on. A little bit later in this video, my hands started getting really dry from that cleaner, so I did end up putting some cleaning gloves on, but for now, we are just gonna get to work on scrubbing this stuff down. If you're wondering what that big stack of packages is, I had posted a whole bunch of my clothes that I was getting rid of on Poshmark. So all of you that bought stuff from my Poshmark, thank you so much. That was all your stuff right there. Well, you can see some of it, but it was a big stack. So I was getting ready to drop those off at the post office. They were just stacked up in my room, but look at the dust and the dirt and the nastiness. 
this rag is going into my dirty rag basket and I'm gonna grab a new one and get back to work scrubbing stuff down. This is the door frame that goes from the garage into the laundry room and like I said earlier, we have three kids and they are always in and out of the house playing and getting dirty. We also have a black lab. He goes in and out this way and then this is the garage. So my husband, you know, he works on our vehicles and all sorts of stuff. So the fingerprints and the dirt on this doorway is always crazy. So it was time to get that wiped down for sure. And then since I was in that general area, I decided I was gonna wipe down the top of the washer and the dryer. The color that my washer and dryer are, this gray color, they don't show any dust, but they get so dusty. It's crazy. This is like a super high traffic area in our house too. So put that rag in my cleaning rag basket to be washed. And now we are gonna do the doors here in the hallway. So the kids' bedroom doors definitely get a lot of fingerprints and it's super noticeable. I actually noticed it in one of my previous cleaning videos. Like in person, you can't really see, but then you get a certain angle on camera, like when I'm vacuuming the kids' rooms in cleaning videos. And I was like, whoa, there is a lot of fingerprints on these doors. So. That is what inspired me to get this task done in this video, but as you can see, I put on my cleaning gloves now and I am just wiping down all the door frames here in the hallway and all of the doors. All right, now this is the vent or like the AC, I don't know what this is called, but it's a vent, you know, um, it's in the hallway. This is like what sucks the air in to run the like heat in the air, the central AC in our house. Um, so I get, what is it, HVAC, I guess? Anyways, it was so dusty. This thing gets so dusty. So I'm just taking my brush attachment on my vacuum and I'm gonna vacuum that off. How satisfying is that? I mean, it's nasty, but like seeing it get cleaned, that's why we watch cleaning videos, right? Because of the satisfaction and the motivation. So there's that. And then this is the vent for the fan in our master bathroom and it was pretty dusty too. So I went ahead and just quickly dusted that off. And now we're gonna head into the kitchen and get a daily chore done. The kids were outside playing so I went ahead and did their chore of the dishes typically Berkeley and Brody will unload the dishwasher and Brayden will load it but on this day we had such a small amount and I was already filming so I was on a roll and I just went ahead and unloaded and loaded the dishwasher Now I'm just squirting some dish soap in there and using my scrub brush to scrub out the sink. 
Every time you make me nervous and I lose my words It's been a while since I forgot the most simple words All right, now I'm getting the dishwasher started and then I had some new Built Bars sitting on the counter that just came in the mail, so I'm gonna get some of those put into my little organizer that I keep in the fridge, get those put back in there. I'm also gonna stock up my sparkling water that I keep in the fridge and then also some bottled water, just get things kind of restocked, put back where they need to go, and then we are gonna get to work on wiping things down in the whole kitchen. All right, so I'm starting out with the countertop over here by the sliding glass door, and I'm just gonna wipe down the countertop, kind of move things underneath, wipe underneath things, and then I'm also gonna be wiping down all of the cabinets, the lower cabinets, the drawers in the cabinets. Um, it's hard to tell on camera. It honestly looks like I'm wiping down clean cabinets, but when you get up close, you can see how incredibly dusty these style cabinets get the little grooves on the inside especially with white cabinets they collect dust and um, they really really needed to be wiped down and just little like food splatter and stuff that you can't really see I should have given you guys like an up close view of the lower cabinets because they really needed to be wiped down and it's just one of those things that you know kind of like wiping down the dining room chairs like I just don't want to do it but it needs to be done so here we are we are getting that kind of stuff done today I'm just using that Mrs. Meyers apple cider cleaner my house smelled so good and then I also had um, peppermint and thieves going in my oil diffuser so it smelled amazing but getting these cabinets all wiped down also wanted to give you guys an update so um, July 2020 I painted my kitchen cabinets. If you see right over there on the right hand side, the island cabinets are still the same color, the original color, and I'm probably gonna be painting those white also. I just haven't gotten around to it. But it's been a year since I've painted the cabinets in the kitchen, and I wanted to let you guys know they are holding up so incredibly well. Super happy with how they turned out. And I, ha I will link that video down below for you guys because I do get questions about my kitchen cabinet paint all the time, like what products I used and um, the whole process and everything. And I did document all of that, so I will link it below for you guys. to focus when you're getting close to me we're like a broken record spinning round and round all oh yeah. yeah i know that i can't do more i know that you feel the same why do we keep playing all of these games i don't wanna go cause your love is what i want babe you know Okay, now I'm using my CLR stainless steel cleaner to wipe down my fridge. This is my absolute favorite stainless steel cleaner. I worked with them on an Instagram post um, a while back and it's actually become my favorite, all time favorite stainless steel cleaner. But I had the kids chore charts up on the fridge and I had taped them up there with just regular clear tape. I do not recommend that on your stainless steel fridge. It was really hard to get the tape off and it like left a residue um, that was kind of hard to get off. Also I had to scrub it really good, but this stainless steel cleaner did help that, so that's good. I'll link it down below for you guys.
Cause your love is what I want, babe You know that I wanna stay this way forever So now the kitchen is done. We are gonna head into the living room. I'm gonna get pillows and blankets put back where they need to go, cups put in the sink, and blankets folded and all of that. Get the living room just tidied up, the basic everyday tidy up. And then I'm gonna grab my vacuum and run the vacuum on the rug here in the living room. Once I'm done vacuuming the living room, I'm just gonna go ahead and vacuum the whole rest of the main area of the house. into my life such a magic feeling we tore down my walls i wish i could go back to right before you told me i'd try to change it all but look at us now i could have gone so far it hurts to realize we're parted yeah look at us now this is who we are and I just know things will never be the same We're like strangers again, again, again while I was working on vacuuming the hallway, we had a package delivery. The boys had been waiting for this package for days. They put their money together that they had been saving and they went in together on a Lego set, some Lego Ninjago, Golden Ninja, something or other. Legos are life right now. They're nine and 10 and it's just like the thing they're into for a while now, but they are gonna work on that. And I vacuumed the bathroom and then I'm gonna head into my bedroom. There were some shirts and sweatshirts on my bed that needed some hangers. So I'm gonna get those hung up in my closet. You said we'd get so high, higher up than heaven. You said we'd reach the stars. But look at us now, we could have gone so far. It hurts to realize we're parted. And yeah, look at us now, this is who we are. And I just know things will never be the same. And now we are going to get my bed made. Strangers again, again, again. Like strangers again, again, again. I just know things will never be the same. Like strangers again. There are some more of those Poshmark packages on the floor, so those might be yours if you're watching, if you ordered anything from my Poshmark closet. I usually only post stuff on there when I do like a closet clean out, um, but I had quite a bit that I got posted on there. So thank you to all of you again for um, shopping my Poshmark closet. That's a lot of fun to like package things up and send them to you guys. But while I'm doing this voiceover, those packages have already been sent out. But when I was filming this, they were just sitting there on my bedroom floor. So. We are just gonna vacuum in here and then we are gonna move on to Berkeley's room. So she just had some books and some dolls out on her floor. So I'm gonna get those put away. And as you see, I'm on the phone again. At this point, I was on the phone with Walgreens and then I was on hold for a lot of the time that I was in here picking up her room. But we're just gonna pick up, I'm gonna make her bed. I'm going to put her clean clothes away and then I'm gonna vacuum.
Okay, now we are headed into the boys' room. I'm using that Acorn Spice Mrs. Myers, and I'm not doing like really any cleanup in here. They cleaned up their room, um, but I am gonna wipe down their desks and just kind of get things cleaned up. Um, they cleaned off their desks and all of that, but you'll see in the end of this video, by the time I get in there to put new sheets on their bed, they have like Lego sets all over their desks again. It's just inevitable and I think it's adorable. Um, but I am pulling their sheets off their bed and then I had ordered some new sheets. Um, the sheets that came with Brody's new shark bedding were not the best. They don't really fit his deep mattress. So I ended up ordering a set of sheets from Target for both the boys, just plain white, and they're like deep, um, and they fit really well, but I'm gonna get those put in the washer here in just a minute, and then later in the evening, I'm gonna get those put on their bed, but for now, I'm just stripping off their bedding, and I'm gonna get their new set of white sheets started in the washer, and then I'm gonna head back into their room and vacuum. We've been on and off again and again I don't know which way we're going No control You push me then you pull me back in Don't know if I can decipher how your mind works Yeah, you leave me wondering What it's like to feel your skin I will keep on trying till You give me a sign Give me a sign Oh, give me all right, now we are back in the boys' room again. This is later in the evening after we had dinner and all of that. Their sheets were done in the dryer, so I'm gonna get those put on to their beds, get their beds made. This is actually like 8.45 at night, so they were actually getting ready to get in bed. They were brushing their teeth and doing all the pajamas and everything while I was making their beds. So while I make them, I'm gonna just fold the sheets down so that way they can crawl in there. But um, as you see, we ended up putting up the happy birthday sign <laughs> above Brody's bed. He insisted that we put it up and I think it's cute. Um, gone are the days of me decorating the boys' bedroom and making it all, you know, aesthetically pleasing or whatever. They are just at the age where they want it how they want it and I, love it. I think it's so cute. They have all their little pictures that they color taped up on the walls and you know their Lego boxes on display and their Lego sets on display. And I just I just love it. They're not babies anymore. They are big boys and they like what they like and just loving this phase of life with them and um I think it's cute. So anyways, just getting their beds made and new sheets and all of that. And um, then I'm gonna give you a little overview of their room and their decorating style that they have uh, kind of acquired and the things they have set out in their room. I'm just loving it. We've been on and off again and again. I don't know which way we're going, no control. You push me, then you pull me back in. So give me a sign Give me a sign but that's gonna be it for this video you guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to check out scentbird and get that discount on your first month i've been loving them um also 
I wanted to just say thank you again for stopping by and watching this video. Be sure to subscribe if you are new, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.